What is polycystic ovarian syndrome? This is Dr. Wilshire. Welcome to our second installment in our PCOS series for September. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is not a disease. I can't tell you how many women come to me upset, crying, uh, just, just tremendously upset that they think they have a horrible disease. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is not a disease. It is a cluster of traits that we call a syndrome. People that call it a disease do not understand the syndrome. Now, there are downsides to polycystic ovarian syndrome. Irregular periods, acne, weight gain, hair growth, infertility, these all seem like downsides. However, there are upsides to PCOS and that helps us understand and manage it. First of all, Almost all women with polycystic ovarian syndrome have lots of eggs. And in fact, a blood measurement of the number of eggs in your system called AMH is now being used more and more to make the diagnosis. Having lots of eggs is generally a good thing, particularly when it comes to infertility. Women with PCOS are also frequently very strong and frequently athletic, depending on the type of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, a woman might also have a lot of endurance and be a runner. Other women with PCOS can be very strong and tend towards uh, weightlifting activities. Now, if polycystic ovarian syndrome caused infertility, the genes for PCOS would have been eradicated. They would have been gone thousands and thousands of years ago. If 10 to 15 percent of women in the population have PCOS, we know they must be reproducing they must be fertile, and there must be genetic advantage uh, to the condition. Now, if we were all the same, uh, we would be very vulnerable to changes in the environment. It's true in agriculture, it's uh, true in biology in general. You must have diversity of species to have resilience against uh, various uh, pests, pestilence, uh, famines, droughts, all kinds of bad things that can befall us. If we were all the same, one pathogen, one disease would wipe us all out. It's the same with PCOS. Women with PCOS are adapted to various conditions. Uh, we haven't always lived in modern times. We always didn't have uh, all the food we could eat, uh, which is the case here uh, in the United States most of the time. We had various uh, food sources and we had various activities uh, to procure them. Some women with PCOS are adapted to famine, some to drought, uh, some to moving around a lot. Uh, uh, we'll get into these details more uh, in the following uh, episodes of this series. So please remember, PCOS is not a disease. Women with PCOS can be very fertile if we reenact or reiterate the type of conditions in which they were fertile in the first place and for which their genetics have been selected. So, let's talk about the various flavors of PCOS uh, in the coming episodes and hopefully that'll bring a better understanding of your condition, which is not a disease.